Um, Senator Dayton. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, gentlemen, for your, your candor and your, your per persistence here today. Uh, the discrepancy between what we were told just prior to the war beginning in terms of Iraq's weapons of mass destruction stockpiles and, and the absence thereof is, is really, to me, staggering. And I want to just point in for the record the statement that Secretary of State Colin Powell made before the United Nations on February 5th, 2003. He stated, our conservative estimate is that Iraq today has a stockpile of between 100 and 500 tons of chemical weapons agent. That is enough to fill 16,000 battlefield rockets. He also cited 18 trucks of bio, mobile, for mobile biological agent factories. Your report indicates that there were none of these supplies, as did Dr. K, on the battlefield stashed or anywhere physically to be found in Iraq. On the nuclear weapons question, Vice President Cheney stated on August 29th, 2002, on the nuclear question, many of us are convinced that Saddam will acquire such weapons fairly soon. Just before the war began, he said on Meet the Press on March 16, 2003, and we believe he has, in fact, reconstituted nuclear weapons. Your report, your testimony today, says the analysis shows that despite Saddam's expressed desire to retain the knowledge of his nuclear team and his attempts to retain some key parts of the program during the course of the following 12 years after the Gulf War, Iraq's ability to produce a weapon decayed. So he had less capability than he did in 1991 to produce a nuclear weapon. At the time when we were convinced to support the resolution in the October of 2002 that the president requested. And at the time the president made the decision to commit American forces to the war in Iraq, we were told that Iraq possessed these magnitudes of weapons of mass destruction that constituted immediate and urgent threats to the United States. Based on what you've learned subsequent, would you say that that assertion was correct? Well, sir, I, I, I mean, I don't want to be evasive, but, you know, again, it wasn't our job to evaluate pre-war intelligence. Uh, well, based but, on but, what I just said here, which were what the information we were given. But what we have found on the ground is it, 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 it substantial variation from what, what you have described the, the pre-war assessments were. I, I, mean, that. I think Thank that's you. quite clear. Thank you. Right. Based on your overall uh, knowledge of other nations, and maybe you don't have the expertise or either of you to answer this, how many other countries would you say at that time, or at the present time, had weapons of mass destruction programs and uh, weapons themselves greater in number or development than, than Iraq? How many nations of the world? Sir, I, I'm not, any, uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, you, General? you know, ask me about Iraq and I can All right, drone on enough. forever. Fair but. enough. You mentioned in your closing uh, of your testimony, Mr. Dolfer, something that was quite chilling about you, you de detected this summer uh, attempted or prospective links between foreign, you say here, foreign terrorists or anti-coalition forces who are tr attempting to either obtain chemical weapons stocks or the experts in Iraq who are able to produce those weapons uh, and that you th thought you had been able to get ahead of this problem, you said, through the raids this summer. Do you see that linkage, uh, or possible linkage, as still a, a threat? I do. Um, I, I was a little bit reluctant to, to put much more into the public report on that because it's an ongoing, uh, you know, force protection kind of an issue. But what we found, um, we the, the army raided a facility called the Al Aboud Laboratory in uh, an area of, of Baghdad, which is known as the Chemical Souk. And uh, by chance, they found uh, a person there who was working on some ricin. And so we, we quickly got involved in that. We quickly uh, began to uh, debrief him and, you know, ferret out his contacts and, you know, work a link analysis, et cetera. We pursued a series of raids uh, uh, pursuant to that. Um, and we, you know, put together a, a picture of a, a series of efforts uh, and a number of individuals who were trying to, uh, you know, put chemical agent of various sorts into munitions, including uh, mortar rounds. 
Um, we think we've got most of that particular activity um, not under control, but we understand it. Uh, now, these individuals were anti-coalition people. They were not people that uh, we identified with foreign terrorists. Um, but it has certainly been the case that characters like Zarqawi um, has expressed an interest in exactly this type of, of, uh, of weapon. Um, but I think, you know, the, the resources of the ISG, the, 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 the analysts and, and the ability to, to react quickly um, allowed us to get ahead of this problem, and, and uh, well, I'm quite proud of what I'm glad you did. did. Yes, thank you for doing so. It, it strikes me uh, that one of the pretexts for this war was to prevent uh, Saddam Hussein from dispersing his uh, weapons of mass destruction to other f uh, forces, and uh, the, a, tr a, t a terrible irony of the effort would be if, in fact, uh, that had not been occurring and, and did, in fact, occur as a result of our intervention there, and I appreciate your, your intervention to, to prevent that. May I ask, uh, regarding the uh, long-range ballistic missiles that you cited, what range are we talking about here in terms of long range? Well, the Al Samud, uh, which was a weapon that he had, and he fired several in the, in the war, uh, had a range which exceeded 150 kilometers. I think uh, it probably, I think it flight tested out to 180 kilometers. But in addition, he had under development, uh, uh, you know, extension, range extension programs that by adjusting the fuel. Um, in the near term, he could have ex reached 250 kilometers. He uh, Saddam had asked the development of much longer range missiles, including up to 600 kilometers. Um, and all of this was within the, uh, the capabilities of the Iraqi scientists and engineers, aided and abetted um, you know, external assistance. My, my time is up. May I just ask you to respond briefly? How much longer do you think this uh, investigation needs to continue? Well, I, you know, I'm going to go back to Baghdad uh, as soon as possible, uh, because it's safer there. Um, but. Uh, and I would anticipate, you know, some of the residual issues can be pretty well uh, addressed in the next month or two. Uh, you know, I'm not, you know, don't, this is not dragging on. I know some of the questions seem to say, well, why are we, you know, wasting all this money and time on this? Uh, you know what? Just asking. Yeah, that's, that's, I, I, and in terms of subsequent reporting, what I would see as a potential is, you know, perhaps addendums on this little defined issues. You know, for example, was material, uh, you know, shipped out of Iraq prior to the war, you know, and a judgment on that. Um, well, thank you again, both of you, for your service. Thank you, Mr. Senator Dayton, thank you.